Hi and welcome back to Getting Started with Processing. In this video we're going to explain how to draw an ellipse and change the size of our window. So if I press play here or run, I will get a very small window that is actually here. Obviously this doesn't really let me create any interesting applications. However, I can change the size of that window by doing size and then the width and the height of the window that I want to create. So in my case, I'm going to create a 640 by 480 window. So what this does is this essentially calls or executes another block that is part of the processing language. So somewhere inside this program is defined a block just like void setup called void size and this size block can accept two numbers the width and the height of the window and whenever you call this size block or method it changes the size of the window so here I'm simply saying run this size block with 640 and 480 as to parameters or arguments for that method so let's see what happens when I do this well Voila, here we have a bigger window. So this is how we change the size of the window in processing. The other thing I wanted to cover in this video is how to create circles or ellipses in processing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just write ellipse. See how it turns blue? This is because it, it is a processing block or method. And I'm simply going to give it four numbers because I know that it takes four numbers as parameters. So here this is just another block like this one and it takes four numbers the x position, y position, width and height. So if I run this I'll get an ellipse here. Let me change these numbers about. So instead of 100, 100, let's call it a 200, 100 and see how the ellipse moves to the right. Similarly, let's call it with 75, 100. So the width is going to be less than the height. And indeed here we see that it is taller than it is wide. So this is the x position, y position, x position goes to the right, y position goes downwards. So the greater the y, the more down it is going to be. The greater the x, the more right is it going to be. 75 pixels wide and 100 pixels tall. So this is how we create ellipses and how we change the size of our window in processing. In the next video, we're going to take a look at how we can create and store temporary values or variables in processing. So I'll see you there.